Perfect. All right, guys, here we are with Micah Ma'a, Team USA, after they beat Suriname 3-0. And Micah, I'm not sure if you can see these mm. stats over here. You guys went 45 for 57 today. Okay. That's, that's pretty good. That's that's not bad. It's pretty good. That's that's, that's, that's pretty good. Passing good. And good hitting is what that is. That's, that's insane exactly that is. efficiency. <laughs> I, I also think that it's good setting, dude. Uh, the, the last game that we saw you play in person was earlier this summer in Ottawa Ooh, against yeah, Brazil. Brazil. That was a tough one. Yeah, Brazil game, tough game. Uh, there was a, a lot of interesting stuff that came out of that one. That yep. Jake Haynes serve that was in but not in. Like, <laughs> yeah. we, we talked about it at the time. But I, Ever and I were talking during the game that the the offense that you set just now, regardless of opponent, looked so much cleaner than that one even just yeah, like a month ago. For sure, more more comfortable for sure. Um, it's been nice to be in the gym with guys, establish connections a little bit. Put in a little bit more time because I've been I've been gone for the past two summers. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Hopefully it's just gonna improve and improve and can dial it in with some guys. It's still we're still working on some things, but hopefully time time will tell and we can get some work in. So when you play a team like Suriname, who you know literally nothing about, yeah. and we didn't know anything about them either. I actually was really impressed by the game that they just played. Uh, how do you prepare for a game when you know nothing about your opponent? You don't even have any video, according to Coach yeah. Farah. Yeah, you just got to take care of your side of the ball then or your side of the net. Um, do the things that you can, and then hopefully after a while you can start to dial in on some things that they like to do. Um, but we knew coming in it was just going to be about our side of the net and taking care of reception, taking care of service, the first touches, and then we know that we can make some plays in, in offense and defense that are pretty special. We got guys that can do some special things. So um, it's pretty much about the focus and, the, and our side of the net until until you get eyes on them. Sure. You yeah. we Oh, sorry. I was going to say, you, you, you talked about, you know, getting comfortable with the guys, but Jayski went eight for nine tonight and was just yeah. uh, unreal. Yeah. Has that connection kind of been fostering, especially since you've been playing with oh, him since sure. February, like in, in Turkey? A hundred percent. Yeah. Um, just had it, having him on the court in the beginning of the summer was really nice. It was like a, a little comfort area for me. And so, uh, and I haven't gotten to play with him. In Brazil, he wasn't on the court. Right. Um, and he was kind of the one guy I had an established connection with. And so in practice, it's been really nice to have him. And then uh, to have him out there now with me, is it's always a nice little area that I can depend on. And things aren't going too well. I can kind of go there for a little bit and then and then find my footing and go, go other places as well. But hopefully as, as the summer goes on or as the years go on, it, it, it can be that way it, it, with everyone. I'm so you, sorry, Everett, you have... I mean, you've played a lot of positions. Mm -hmm. We've seen you play outside hitter in VNL, for God's sake. You yeah. have an attacker's mindset because you've done it. You know what it takes to be an attacker. Won the game with it tonight. You, you won the game <laughs> with it just tonight. We were wondering if you were going to spike a ball, but you told me on the way up here that that, that spike uh, to win the match was a little bit by necessity. Tell us what yeah. happened. Um, no, I just I had a calf cramp. Uh, actually, on the set before that where I set Haynes, and that's why I kind of hung in the back. I was like, please put this away. He didn't put it away, <laughs> but it wasn't on him. It was a good defense. Uh, it was a good, good, dig. good defensive play. And so I came back over, and I was like, all right, here we go. And then I jumped for the last one. That's why I went off one. It was my other calf cramp, and I jumped off one. I was like, I just got to hit this, get in a good spot, and then <laughs> try and go, reset, or hopefully go get we're, some ice. we're done. Yeah, Man, exactly. you, you could have come in here and be like, no, I wanted to finish the game on my terms. I wanted to put it away no, from me. No, Instead, no, 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 no. you gave you us the be real. Honest. You got to be honest. Um, so one thing I'm sure <laughs> fans at home want to know, last year you took the year off from the yeah. national team. What was the decision to come back and spend another summer with Team USA? Um, yeah, that's a great question. I think the group of guys was really encouraging. Um, a few of them reached out to me, the coaching staff had reached out to me after, um, actually during the season and then kind of towards the latter part of our, of my season overseas. And so uh, a lot of it, credit to them, was like encouraging me to come back. Um, and yeah, I, I was excited about it. I'm, I'm stoked I did. It's been a really good summer. Um, just trying to learn. I think Micah is the best setter in the world right now. Yes, he is. Um, and so being in the gym with him and a guy like Javier Weber um, that people might not be familiar with. but We pump Javier Weber okay, on good. everything that we do as much as we good, can because that so. guy is a legend. Oh, yeah. He's, I, he's one of the greatest minds in volleyball for sure. No doubt, if not one of the best, if not the best. Uh, and so to be in the gym with him and Micah was just too hard to lay off as well. So I was <laughs> like, I can go in there, learn from the greats, and hopefully try and get better and then help the team if um, if necessary or help them in any way I can. So that was kind of the mindset coming well, in. Well, mission accomplished. That was yeah. a very fun match. Uh, we're super excited about this tournament. Nice I mean, boys. ton of good volleyball to come this week. I uh, expect the crowds to go a little bit better, but our, 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 our crowd online is oh, yeah? sick. 
and they yeah. love watching you guys. So Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, everybody, right everyone loves you. Thank uh, you guys for doing this. Uh, it was our absolute pleasure. And the got a, anyone, anyone you want to shout out? Anyone you want to say hi to at home or anything like that? Too many people. Too many people. Everyone go, at home, dude, family, go, go friends, Zana. Um, shout out to Zana. I yeah, saw her last Zana, week in Zana, Chicago. Chicago. Everyone. Everyone in Hawaii. Maui. Um, totally. Yeah. There's a lot of people, but Maui is definitely one of them as well. So. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I remember that. Awesome. Dude, well, thanks a yeah. lot for coming to chat. Thanks for good having game. me on. Thanks for doing this, guys. Rob, thanks, bud. Always good to see you. Great to see you, too, always bro. Always good to see you. Going to be a fun rest of the week. Thanks, guys, for watching. Appreciate Micah, you, Micah, can you do me a huge favor? What's up? Go get my boy Tim McIntosh and ask Timmy him if he McIntosh wants to come up here. Timmy McIntosh is on the way, guys. Hold Thank him tight you. to Tim McIntosh. Thank you. Thanks, awesome. buddy. Thanks, Micah.